On our previous videos, we looked at two things. In here is being able to write, of course, your equation down and transforming it into a text format using the Ink to Math software on OneNote. And from there, we were able to get our solutions, in this case, for our X and Y. In this case, since we're doing systems of equation, which is which particular point on your graph where those two lines are equal to each other, or what coordinates do they share in terms of how the two lines they intersect. And from there, we looked at how this can be applicable in this case to quadratic equations where we need to determine what the X values are when your Y is equal to zero. So in this video, we're going to look at how we're going to be able to do what? To generate a graph for this particular equation. But first, we're going to generate a graph for this particular equation here, which is 10X plus 4Y equals to negative 1. And so what we do is you highlight that specific equation. And what you do next is to hit on the math uh, icon and that gives you this particular section on the right side of your screen. Once you do that, you can select a couple of actions. We already selected what our specific values are. If you want to solve for X, you can actually generate this equation. In this case, you're moving everything over to the other side and leaving X. And when you do that, you'll be able to get this equation for X. If you want to solve for Y, it means that you remove, move everything over to one side, leaving Y alone on the other side of your equal sign. And now for our graph in 2D, which means you have your Y and your X coordinates, you're going to have this equation generated. When you zoom in closely, you can use a couple of icons here, which is zoom in to see closely how these particular points are created or you zoom out to see the full picture. In this case, you don't need to zoom your zoom out. And in here, you can also trace which points are lying on the line. And so that is something to keep in mind. Of course, when in this case you solve for Y, you're writing it in form of what? your y equals mx plus b as shown right here and by doing that you'll be able to see that you have your negative slope which shows the m to be a negative value in this case m is equal to negative 5 over 2 and so this actually shows you what it looks like on your graph so what you can do is you can indeed just show two things one is your y which is for this particular equation where y is equal to this particular equation which is similar indeed to your y equals mx plus b because that will prove your argument that indeed your equation reflects your graph and to put your graph on the page you can click on insert on page and you have it right over here and so this is one way of being able to analyze a particular equation. In this case, we analyzed this particular equation, copying this and pasting it right here. And so in this case, we can come up with our communication solution, which says that this equation is rewritten as y equals mx plus b. And this shows you how to go from this to here, which is y equals mx plus b. And from there, this is reflected on your particular graph. Now, the second point here I want to share with you is how are you going to be able to show the relationship between these two equations in terms of how your y and your x points are common with these two equations and to do that what you do is highlight everything of course hit math and you have these two equations you're going to select the action that you want we already did this which is what we really revealed right over here and for your graph in 2d this is what we have right here if you want to zoom in closely we can zoom into the region where your specific graph actually shows the two lines 
meeting and if you want to drag it click hold and drag it to the specific region and voila there we have it now what you can do is insert this on your page and once to insert this you can drag it and then you can indeed just expand so that you can show where these two lines they meet if you want to improve on the communication you can say that yes the purple line represents your specific first equation which is right here and your red line is highlighted by the second equation and then once you have that you can improve on the communication by showing these two particular lines meeting at a point which is at this region and activating your ink to shape shows this particular box to be enhanced and so once you have this you can just draw a curved arrow at that particular point and this is the point where they meet so this is a wonderful way of showing this particular relationship between your graph and your equations and this is really incredible to see based on what we have right here and the final one here is looking at a quadratic equation which is what we have right over here on our quadratic equation part we see this particular equation holds and what we can do is do the same thing let's see what the outcome is going to be we know that it's going to be concave down so because your a value is a negative one but to prove that let's see how it's going to look like mathematically by clicking on math and we have this particular equation once you click on select an action we have delivered our values for x and we don't need to solve for y because it's going to give us the same thing well in this case we have for our graph in 2d once you click on that we have our equation right there couple of key graph features to remember once you click on that you can actually show a couple of important points that will be relevant like for example if you have your zeros this is highlighted here which are the two point if you want to zoom in closely to see and drag down you can see the important points to keep in mind and other things like for example your y intercept once you click on that you drag down and you see where that y intercept is happening and next here is your minimal um your minimum you don't really need that because in this case there is no minimum here because your curve is concave down which means in this case this is going to be your maximum y value which can be proven by clicking on this particular region right here and once you click on that you're going to see a new point which is right over here so that's pretty cool to see in here now on the other side we have our domain and range which is really fascinating to explore your monotonicity shows regions where it is increasing and regions where your curve is decreasing which is around your midpoint which is indeed your maxima and from your maxima this is where it is increasing and this is where it is decreasing and so this is how it looks like other things to be aware of we don't really need horizontal or vertical isotopes or oblique isotopes because they do exist on this particular graph so this is really wonderful to see right here once you highlight all those points all you can do in this case is you zoom out a little bit just to show the interesting important points to be aware of and once you have that you can just insert on your page and voila here you have it so these are the interesting and important things to keep in mind in regard with regards to this particular question in terms of plotting your points if you want to be able to improve more on which ones are your axis you can just go ahead by looking at the one that will give you a lesser value here than this so you can just put your arrow and you can just highlight this here to be your x2 and this here to be your x1 this in this case based on our analysis here shows that this region here which is 
this point is the maxima which is where x or where y is 1 over 5 your x is 4 over 5 and the next one here to keep in mind is this particular point right here and this point is your y intercept in this case our y value is equal to negative 3 where our x is equal to 0. So these are the things to keep in mind with regards to interpreting your graph on your one note and being able to give a really thorough analysis of the results and a couple of outcomes to take place on this graph. Please make sure you know all these things. I feel it will be important not now but also in the future with regards to how you're able to solve problems mathematically not only in grade 10, grade 11, grade 12 and so many more other courses that you'll be taking. All the same, thanks for following me through this. Truly really appreciate it. Hit a comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts about graph analysis and how to transform your equation that you've written down to a text format and now to graph format and also being able to analyze various important points to keep in mind and also not only for linear but also for quadratic equation all the same thanks for following me through this trailer appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this but that way i can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves